Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing a Shop My Stash. So I'm gonna take you with me through my makeup collection, pick out some products, and we will use them to do our makeup together. If you are new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but I am posting every day in December. So I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. So we'll go ahead and pick out the products and then we'll get started with the makeup. Okay, we're gonna do a shop my stash today. So we're gonna pick out some products to use. So we'll go with a primer first. Maybe this NYX Plump Right Back. I'm either gonna use this or I might use the Dew Drops from Glow Recipe, but they're not in this drawer. I don't know, we'll use one or the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out for corrector, let's see. Mm, let's use Clinique, the even better corrector. I'm gonna do that one. And then, okay, for concealer. Maybe this one, the LYS Triple Fix Concealer. I haven't used that one in a while, so we'll do that. I think that'll be it for the first drawer. Then we'll pick a powder. Mm. Let's do the Sephora collection. The, what is this? The Micro Smooth Powder in Beige. I just got this during the Sephora sale. I've only used it a few times. I kinda wanna do that one again for a powder. For my foundation. Mm, kinda wanna use the Kosas foundation. I haven't used this. In a while either it's definitely I feel like gonna be a little bit dark so we may have to mix something else in with it but I haven't used that in a long time actually maybe I'll use the Kosas concealer instead of the LYS or maybe I'll just pull both out since the Kosas concealer is 2.5 C It's a little bit lighter than the foundation so I can probably use that to lighten it up if I need to Okay for a bronzer Kind of want to use my Milani Silky matte. I haven't used this in a long time. Actually, I think I might do these two together. So my Fenty Cream bronzer and then the Milani with it. I haven't used either of those in a long time Okay, and for a blush Maybe the rose ink cream blush and I'll probably pick out a powder blush too to pair with it. Um, maybe my Clinique Cheek Pop in Nude. It's really neutral. I don't really know what I want to do for eyeshadow yet, so I think we'll do those. For brows, I think I'm just going to do a pencil that I have in my everyday makeup drawer and this brow fix from Charlotte Tilbury. I don't use that very often. Okay, for a mascara, maybe this, the Tarte Surfer Curl. This is a little mini. I, I think I got this actually for my mom and she didn't like it so she gave it to me to use so I think I'll try that and then I might add a little bit of the essence slash primer it's kind of hard to pick a lip product if you don't really know what you're gonna do on your eyes or your face really 
maybe, I don't know, I'm just going to bring out a few things. This is Sugar and Spice from LA Girl, and then this is Love Trap from Charlotte Tilbury. I think I'll just bring out both of those, and let's see. Maybe this Tarte Juicy Lip, I don't know, we'll see. I may not even end up wanting something shiny if I have, depending on what I have on my eyes. This is kind of pretty. I got this randomly as at Sephora. It's one of the Rare Beauty Lip Souffles in Fearless. That's kind of pretty. I don't know. Maybe I'll pull that out and we'll just see what I do on the eyes. For eyeshadow. Okay, I was thinking I wanted to use this. The Enchanted palette from Sigma. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm just kind of in the mood to use this one. I love this palette, but I haven't used it in a while. So I'm thinking maybe we'll go in with this today. So I pulled out the NYX Plump Right Back Primer, but I also brought out the Glow Recipe. Um trying to decide. I guess we'll use the NYX primer today. This is the Plump Right Back Plumping Serum and Primer. It's like a clear gel consistency. The feel of this actually kind of reminds me of the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. It has a little bit of like that tacky feel to it. Even the consistency when you pump it out kind of feels similar. But I do think this one is not quite as tacky as the e.l.f. one. But they're similar. I feel like this one adds a little more glow to your face too. I'm going to use the Clinique Even Better Color Corrector in the shade Peach before we go in with foundation. I'm going to take a little bit in this inner corner. I always kind of forget to put corrector there, but I do have a lot of blue color there. I let that sit for, I would say like 30 to 45 seconds because this one is, I, I would say a pretty sheer formula in terms of color corrector. If you want a little more coverage, then I find you have to let this one kind of sit for a minute before you blend it. Okay, we're gonna go in with the Kosas Revealer Foundation. I have the shade 170, and I don't know, it might be okay. I feel like it is normally a little bit dark, but I don't know. We'll just test it out and see. So that is one pump, which is a good bit of product. So one pump is a lot. I still have that much left on the back of my hand. I actually kind of forgot about this foundation, but I've been seeing it a lot on my TikTok page, my For You page. I feel like this foundation has been popping up a lot lately. And it was reminding me how I haven't used mine. Actually, I think this color might be okay. It's so interesting. Now I'm like looking at this and this looks even better than I remember it looking the last time I used it, this foundation. So I don't know if, I mean, it hasn't been that long since I used it, but I feel like it, this looks really pretty. Really kind of dewy, but not like super, super dewy, just like a natural radiance. Feels really good on my skin. I'm gonna go over my face with a sponge. But yeah, so this is looking 
better than I remember it looking. I, I don't know. I remember when this first came out and I was using it more. I liked it, but I wasn't like obsessed with it. But I feel like it looks even better now. I wonder if it's from that primer underneath. This is one of the main reasons why I like to do a shop my stash like this at least once a month because I feel like I always end up like rediscovering something that I really like that I forgot about. Okay, I'm going to go in with the Kosas Revealer Concealer since we're using the Kosas Foundation. And this is the shade 2.5C. Even though to me it does not look like a cool undertone, it definitely looks warm. But I feel like this color concealer should go well with this foundation shade. Okay, I'm just blending this concealer in with a BK Beauty 110. Yeah, so this is a really good concealer shade to go with that foundation because it's just a little bit lighter but not too light. I'm going to take a little bit of the concealer right here kind of in the center of my face just to add a little bit of that same color to kind of even everything out. So I'm thinking about doing a Q&A this month for one of the videos. So if you have a question you want to ask me, you want me to answer it in the video, definitely leave it in the comments. I'm going to post on my community page also, but if you are watching this video and you have a question, make sure to comment it in the comments and I will do a video at some point this month answering them. Okay, let's do some cream bronzer. I'm going to use the Fenty cream bronzer in Butter Biscuit. I haven't used this in a long time, but this used to be one of my favorites. I still like it. I just haven't been using it recently. So I'm going to use this 109 from BK Beauty and just tap this on. Gosh, I'm obsessed with this brush for cream bronzer and I'm not kidding. It is so good. And this cream bronzer, I'm remembering now why I used to use it all the time. It's such a good shade for me. It's not too warm, but it's not like really, really cool toned either. See? Rediscovering old favorites. For blush, I'm gonna use the cream blush from Rose Ink in Heliotrope. This is brand new to me, actually. I've only had this for about a month or so. I got this in that Sephora gift set that I showed in a video. So I'm using the Morphe A58 brush to apply this. The rose ink blushes are such an interesting formula. They're kind of like a putty type formula, but this color is so pretty. It's peachy, pinky, just the perfect like neutral pinky nude color. Mm, but yeah, this color, oh my gosh, I love it. So many of you told me that you had these blushes from rose ink and you loved them. And I can see why this color is beautiful, but the formula is just very unique. It's really nice. I'm going to take a little bit of my Milani Silky Matte Bronzer. This is such a throwback. I haven't used this in a very long time, but this is truthfully, in my opinion, the best drugstore bronzer. I've always thought that for years. Um, and this color for me in particular is just really, really good. This is the shade number one, Sunlight. Mine is definitely very old. I don't know how old it is, but I know that I've had it for quite a while. 
but I love it. It's one of one of my favorite bronzers, honestly. And then I think I will take just a little bit of the Clinique blush in Nude Pop. We really don't need any, but I'm gonna use just a little bit because I feel like the color will go well. I'm starting to hit that point where I've got to wash all my brushes again. In fact, after I film this, I'm going to film something to include in a vlog coming soon, but it's going to be me cleaning out my makeup brushes, I think, like decluttering them basically and getting rid of some because I feel like there's no point in keeping all these brushes that I have when I'm constantly looking for the same ones over and over, I need to just keep the ones that I'm using and get rid of the rest, you know? It'll make it easier for me to find them and I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna be doing that and that should be coming in a vlog soon. I need to set my face now, so I'm gonna use the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade 25 and the Sephora 55 brush and just lightly set my face this is also a pretty new product to me but I bought it during the sale because a lot of people talk about how this is an underrated powder and that it's really blurring and I feel like I haven't used it enough to figure out how I feel about it definitely is pretty blurring I would say. I don't know if it's the most blurring that I've ever used but it's good. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of powder under my eyes but I don't think I'm gonna do that powder. I'm gonna do a little bit of the Pat McGrath under eye powder. I feel like I could probably get away without setting this concealer but I want to do I think just a little bit of powder. So I'm gonna take this little eyeshadow brush from Sigma and I'm just gonna lightly like very very lightly set under my eyes I'm gonna use my micro brow pencil and fill in my brows which feels really weird because normally I do like some type of brow soap or brow wax first and then fill them in but I'm just going to use a normal brow gel today so I figure I don't really need to do that first so I'm just going to fill them in and then set them with the gel I went ahead and primed my eyes and we're gonna go in with the Enchanted palette. I, again, this has not been used in a while, but this is one of my favorite palettes. I just love the colors in here. I think it's just very unique to me. So I'm first gonna take the shade Quartz, which is up here. It's just a nice creamy matte and I'm just gonna use the brush that comes with the palette and I'm gonna just put this all over but I'm mainly focusing it like right on the actual lid and this will just give us a nice even canvas to start out with and I'm gonna go into this pinky kind of rosy shade called innocent and I'm gonna apply this kind of over where we just placed that cream color but I'm gonna put it on the lid and just kind of blend it up to the crease. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Okay I'm gonna go into this really pretty shimmery pink called Budding and let's see I'm actually gonna I think wet the other end of this brush and I'm gonna try this with a brush I almost always end up going back in with my finger but I'll try it and see actually that's working pretty well with a brush 
I'm just literally going to tap this all over the lid. I'm going to take loam right here and a little bit of clay stone, like just one little tap in each. They both kind of look like the same shade of brown. Clay stone is just like a tad bit darker. But I'm going to lightly add this to the outer corner and this is a 211 from BK Beauty. This is another really great brush for your outer corner. I'm gonna go back in with the brush that it comes with and just blend a little. And then I'm also gonna use that same brush and I'm gonna go into the Milani bronzer that we used. And I'm gonna add this in the crease as well. I'm gonna go into Innocent again and add that on my bottom lash line. I think I might take a little bit of the lavender in here called Moon Glade and I'm gonna use my finger for this. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna add that right in the center of the lid. I'm gonna go into the black in the palette, which is called Wicked, and I'm gonna line my eyes with this. I wasn't planning to do this, but I don't know. I just kinda wanna use the black in here. So I'm gonna line my eyes really, really closely to the lash line, very, very close, and then do a little bit of a wing with the BK Beauty 208. I'm gonna use the Tarte Surfer Curl Mascara. I just curled my lashes also. Now for the lips, I'm trying to decide if I wanna do Sugar and Spice or love trap I'm kind of thinking sugar and spice so let's we'll just try this and see so that is sugar and spice from la girl and then since the blush we used is a lip and cheek i figured i'll just take some on my finger and add just a little Yeah, that's pretty. I think I might just leave it like this without gloss, even though I normally do gloss because we have a lot going on on the eyes. I'm gonna take a little bit more of the Sephora collection powder and I'm gonna add a little bit of this right here. I feel like I still look a little too shiny right there. All right, you guys, that is gonna be it for this Shop My Stash. I hope you enjoyed it. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this look or not, but I kind of like it. It's definitely a little more purple than I was thinking in my head, but I kind of like how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm really happy I rediscovered some of the things we tried today or we used again today. The Kosas foundation and concealer, I forgot how much I like this. So I'm really glad I used it again and rediscovered it. I also am really, really happy to have used this again. This palette was one I wanted for a really long time. I just love the color story. I think it's so pretty. And next time when I use it, I'll do something darker with some of these colors because I feel like that's another really fun way to use this palette. But I really like the purple today. I also totally forgot how good this cream bronzer is from Fenty. I remembered it was good, but I just hadn't used it in a while, and I'm glad that I used it and remembered how good it is. And I just really like a lot of these products that we used today, so I'm glad I rediscovered them. I encourage you to go through your makeup collection and shop your own stash the next time 
you want to do your makeup. It's really fun. So I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me over on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair1. And I will see you tomorrow for another video. Remember, simply be you.